Hello friends, Lorraine here and my channel is Lowe's Life and Lessons. I'm happy you've decided to stop by because today we're going to talk about saving money and who doesn't love saving money? I sure like getting a good bargain. I like being creative in the ways that I can save money, that I can use my resources fully and for the purpose that they are intended and maybe even more purposes. So let's dive into this right after I share with you my scent of the day, which is Le Parfum Royal by Ellie Saab. Well, this is a beautiful Chypre floral released in 2019. And it has notes of Mandarin orange, Turkish rose, Bulgarian rose, neroli, patchouli, amber, vanilla, and sandalwood. This is a bright, warm, bold, powerful, and indeed quite a regal fragrance. Look at the bottle. It is stunning. It's heavy. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you will see even on the other side, there's a little design there. This is a beautiful, luxurious fragrance. The website describes it this way. It leaves a trail of sandalwood, amber, and vanilla. It does sound quite majestic, and it's my SOTD. I'm going to share with you a few ways that I save money, and a few suggestions that may be new to you, and I'm sure that you have many ways that you save money as well, because especially in the economy today, I don't know, ever since COVID, Things have really shifted and people are very thrifty and getting very cautious of the way they spend their money. And as it should be, I think. Our money is precious. We work hard for our money. And even when we're retired and we receive a pension, we know that that pension comes from 35, 40, 45 years of our activity in the workforce. So we need to respect our income. We need to spend it wisely and we need to spend it on things that we need, maybe not necessarily always want. Anyway, let's get started. And you know, what better place to start than makeup? Because really, until a couple of years ago, probably two or three years ago, I had one pressed powder, I had one mascara, I had one eyeliner, I had one cleansing cream. And so when I started getting into all this makeup and all these beauty creators, of course I had to try all kinds of different things. So now I have a huge stash and I do not like wasting things. So I want to use up what I have. I've put a stop on buying any new makeup until next year and I'm going to use up what I have. But really, in any kind of a normal situation, I think any woman kind of needs one of each, which stood me very well for 30, 40, 50 years. Another way to save money is to avoid trendy clothing. Classic pieces that mix and match and that are made of wonderful fabrics and that fit really well are an absolute staple in any elegant woman's wardrobe. And many times, the styles never go out of style and they are always suitable for many occasions. So just be careful of that, buying trendy clothing and don't buy on impulse. Make sure that the clothing fits you really well and make sure that you love it. That's always the way I measure things. If I love it, then I will buy it. Even if it's on sale, even if it's a really good price, if I don't absolutely love it, I just do not buy it. I've learned the hard way so many times because I'll buy something on sale, I don't love it, and it sits in my closet for years. And then I feel very silly for ever having given in to that impulse. So that's one thing to do is to avoid that impulse buying. And that goes for me, and I'm reminding myself of these things as well. When I'm shopping online and I'm on Amazon or I'm on shoppers or the bay it's so easy for me to just put things in the cart just add to the cart add to the cart well i usually let things sit in the cart for at least a day or two before i push that button and buy it because most often those things in the cart just are deleted because i realized that i was just acting on impulse so that's one area that we can all control another good practice and this becomes a habit, is to use reusable cloth shopping bags. 
Now, the Rexall in my neighborhood is very clever. I don't know about the Rexall in your neighborhood. This is for my Canadian friends, of course. But Rexall no longer gives out plastic bags. They will ask you if you want a bag, and then they will give you a great big honkin' paper bag. Well, I have no use for that paper bag when I get it home, so I have learned the hard way. And I have simply developed the habit of bringing with me at least two or three cloth shopping bags when I am shopping at the mall. And uh, they trained me for sure. I don't want those great big paper bags. They are no use to me at all. Another area that I find people are spending a whole lot of money, especially in the last 10 or 20 years, is buying bottled water. I don't really know how that started. Um, as far as I'm concerned, any place that I've ever lived, the water that comes out of my kitchen tap or my bathroom tap is quite suitable to drink, tastes just great. I never buy those plastic bottles of water. Not only do they cost money, but they pollute the planet like crazy. I mean, we all know that sections of the ocean are just piling up with these empty plastic bottles. It's just a shame. So all in all, it's more economical and better for the planet to just drink the water that comes out of your kitchen tap or your bathroom tap. We all like to celebrate special occasions, birthdays, anniversaries. We like to send a greeting card of congratulations or a get well card or a happy anniversary card. But you know, some of these cards that you find in the card shops and even in the drugstore are horrifically expensive. Six, seven dollars for a card and not all the time, but probably many times those cards go right into the garbage. So you can find lovely greeting cards for all occasions at your local dollar store for one or two bucks. Some of them are even made by Hallmark and they're quite good quality and they're just as nice as any that you would find in an expensive card shop. So there's an area where you can save a lot of money. Whenever possible, don't pay bank fees. Now that's easy enough for those of us over 60 or perhaps 65. I haven't paid bank fees in many, many years, certainly probably 15 years. But try to find a bank or try to do a negotiation where you're not paying bank fees. You don't need many different bank accounts either because every time you have a bank account, there are bank fees associated with that. That's money that's just going into the air. So if you can possibly avoid or lessen the amount of bank fees you are paying, try to do that. Cable TV is another area where you can save money. Now, of course, we have to pay for Netflix or um, Crave or the other streaming services. But if possible, try to keep your cable TV expenses to a minimum. I have tried to do that. The only thing is there are certain TV programs that I really do like to watch, which are available only on cable TV. So I'm not able to cut my cable altogether because I'm just not willing to do without those three or four programs. But it's an area worth looking at. Use LED light bulbs. Yes, they are a little more expensive to buy initially, but they last about five years, especially if you get into the habit of turning the lights off when you leave a room. You know, this is just a habit that is very easy to develop and it's a good thing to teach your children to do that. Heaven knows the energy in our planet is decreasing. We want to use it sparingly. We want to use it only when we need to use it. There's no sense in having a room all lit up with artificial light when nobody's been in there for hours. So it's a good habit to get into. Just turn out those lights and you'll see that your hydro bill will decrease. Downsizing is the big thing these days, especially for seniors who are selling their houses and either moving into a condo or moving into a rental apartment or moving into a retirement home. But anybody can downsize. We all have a tendency to accumulate stuff. I always enjoyed spring cleaning time. Spring cleaning was always a good time to sort of open the windows and wash the floors and wash the windows and go through all my stuff and just get rid of the stuff that I haven't used for a whole year, the stuff that is just not useful to me anymore, the stuff that I could give to somebody who would really use it and appreciate it. There are many venues now that we can sell our stuff. We can go on Facebook Marketplace. There's Kijiji in many, many communities. And it's very easy to sell gently used items of all kinds. I have bought an air conditioner on Marketplace. I've bought perfume on Marketplace. 
I have bought bedding on Marketplace and I've also sold some things on Marketplace. So it's a lot of fun. It's a way to make a little extra money and it's a way to ensure that somebody else might be able to use something that you are done with for whatever reason. And finally, what I've started doing lately is dilute my shampoo and conditioner dilute the body wash. Now the body wash I'm using right now is quite a thin consistency so I did not dilute that one but the one I had previously was quite thick and some of these products are quite thick and viscous and diluting with two-thirds product and one-third water will help that product go a long long way and be just as effective as if you didn't dilute it and it's a way to save a little bit of money. These are some small ways that we can all save money. It's really fun to be creative and think about ways to save a little bit of money. I bet you have many other little ways that you save money in your household and I would love it if you would share those ways in the comments below. Share them with me and with the other people who watch this video. I thank you for stopping by today. If you are new to my channel please consider subscribing and if you like this type of video give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate and love you all and I wish you a wonderful day. See you in my next video. Bye-bye.